I never said LGBT last night. I said S-I-N. Please, just, just watch this ad I'm about to show you. Okay, let's see who I look like. Me, bitch. The fuck? Oh, shit, we out here with that shark coochie board. Shark coochie board. Shark coochie. Shark coochie. Shark Three years out of every month, I try to have it. I have it. But one month out of every year, I don't. That's the thing. First of all, you're nothing but a trashy hoe. Second of all, you're you suck dick. Third of all, you're not a boss ass bitch. You're a boss ass trashy hoe. <laughs> Romeo, look, look at um Garon. Look, look, look at Garon. Oh, oh, dude! Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Listen, it's a good joke. It's a great joke, even. But I need you to stop anyway. I literally cannot like find ID tags anywhere, and I like can't find it. Oh hey, Shaq. <laughs> So I'm looking up and down the aisles. Now, I know I'm dyslexic, right? But that says to me, Ambalians. Ambalians. Look, happy birthday, Wally. You're cute. And there's Wally! <laughs> just so cute as he's sitting the same way. Hey there, we're here at the 9-11 National Memorial and Museum in New York, mourning the 2,977 lives lost in the September 11 attacks on the World Trade Center. Uh, and I think Hannah's going to get the drunkest. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Noodle and I start every day with something called belly rubs in the morning, where uh, I give him belly rubs and ask him about his goals for the day. Um, he is He never has any. 11 o'clock, and no one had heroin in their anus. I don't even have time for my love life, to see my family. I don't even have time for nothing. I'm working every single day. I'm depressed. I shouldn't even be feeling that way. I've honestly never met somebody who just gets me the way that he does. Stop. We're in public. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys like this salad? It's basically a normal salad, but look at this. Olive Garden. You guys have I've been trying to work on my anger issues, so I'm just gonna uh, keep eating. My friend just told me oh, I'm gonna be an investigator. Bitch, you couldn't even figure out that your is cheating on you. You're not about to. You're not about to solve no crimes, girl. Try something else. Try being a clown. Chances are, if you like what you're seeing, you may not know how to check your oil level. <laughs> Damn. Got my little gay ass. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay, James. Have you ever seen a word, but you've never known how to pronounce it, and so you come up with your own way to pronounce it? So I do have a word that I have trouble pronouncing. This word right here. Do you want to know how I say it? Disney. ...during sexual intercourse to allow for... Either pleasure or to reproduce. What's really, really cool about the vagina oh my God. is it produces its own. Jansen, you old son of a bitch, is just a pleasure having you on this business trip. You really brought the account home. You're going places, buddy. Straight to the top. <laughs> ah. A little ASMR for the girls. Yeah.
friend of mine was telling me that growing up, they hated going to their grandma's because she had plastic covers on our couches and it was uncomfortable to sit on. And I had to explain to her that the reason her grandma did this uh, is because she's a squirter. Don't tell me there are people out there that consider this raw. This is a perfect medium rare filet mignon. Is that meat raw? Yes. But as someone who takes raw, eats raw meat, you don't have to pretend like raw meat is bad. It's good. It tastes good. You should have just kept going with it. It's raw meat. If I'm getting heads, y'all have to drink. If I'm getting tails, I have to drink. Too far away to tell. Looks like we're both gonna take a big sip. <laughs> hey, this chocolate factory is really- You are fat and you are stupid. Look in the mirror Hi. and what do you see? Oh. Someone who is fat and no one loves Dang. you. No one loves you, you okay. fat manatee. Go right, back Mom, to the can sea, you fat- if your girl has a daddy kink, try this. Up and at him. Come on, let's go. We gotta be first in line. Yeah, I know it's a public place. Just get up. Put your forehead to the phone really quick. Just do it. See, Ma, I told you girls like me and I don't like boys. <laughs> Because I am, sweetie. Do you have the same thing I have? Yeah, we both got pussies. Mm -hmm. We both got a pussy. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Spinch Beab. Um, so I was grading your test today and I saw you write this and I just want to read it out loud to you to make sure it's correct, you know. Um, you wrote Mrs. Puff Coochie Stank Lamal and then you put your nose on the paper. Um, and I just want to let you know that that is very true. Like, how do you think Mr. Puff died? Hi, here at Lockheed Martin, we love to support the LGBTQ community, especially during Pride, which is why we're excited to announce that the next missile we will launch at a country America staged coup d'etat in several years ago, leading to great strife and instability in the region, will be launched by a queer woman of color, because representation matters. You know those scenes in scary movies when the kid is like doing a drawing of all the members of the family? And then they add like a dark blob in the corner. And then the mom is always like, Billy, who is that? And then the kid's like, oh, that's just. <laughs> he comes into my room at night. I am so afraid that that is going to happen to me. One of the reasons I don't want to have kids. Every day I get up, this boy in my icebox, but I'm going to show him something. He think I'm Walmart. I'm going to show him something. I'm going to give him enough meat. Baby, he ain't coming back till Christmas. Hey. Come on, you, you over here again today, huh? You, got to eat. I eat all day, you hungry? No, I'm in your icebox. Here, get this bag. Here, hey. here fill your bag. Uh -oh. Are you serious? I'm serious. Mama, I mama, bet mama. you won't come back. Every time you come back, every time you come back over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my road. Now get out my house. So it's my first time in San Francisco, right? And I really want to go to Phil's Coffee because I'd heard such good things about it. Um, so I walk in, I order an iced oat milk latte. The barista looks at me and goes, we don't do espresso here. We only do coffee. And I'm like, oh, okay, is there anything kind of comparable to an iced latte? And she goes, yeah, actually, I can give you a bag of beans. You can go outside, sit on them with your fat fucking ass, extract the espresso yourself. And while you're at it, you can squeeze those udders you call titties, you fat fucking cow. Then she spits on me and kicks me out. Okay, so in fourth grade, I did a presentation about my adoption, right? And I told the kids <laughs> that the orphanage I was in <laughs> was like a kill shelter comparative to like kill shelters in America for animals. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, like if my parents hadn't adopted me, they would have put me down. And my teacher, all the kids were like, what? And the teacher was like, uh, I don't think that's how it works. And I was like, yeah. It, that's literally how it works. Like, I swear. Y'all got, like, a, a veggie pizza? I do, but it'll be about 15 minutes. All right, let me get that, like, with all meat, though. Do you want to stab me? <laughs> you, say, <laughs> you say what? <laughs> you want to stab me? 
you want a veggie pizza without me? Yo, that's that's part of my. No, that's definitely not a veggie pizza. What you call you it? Five meat. Five meat. Now that's too much meat. Hold on, wait. I am so sick of ghetto companies like Starbucks ruining America with their liberal policies. <sighs> Disgusting. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, what can I get for you? What's the ghettoest drink you have? The ghettoest? Mm-hmm. Like if you were to look at your menu and think, wow, that's ghetto, like what drink? MAGA, Trump 2024, build the wall. Open the freezer door and notice this is open. Okay, mini custard filled icy clairs. They're pretty good. Okay, well, you look in the box. That ate all the chocolate off the top of them, put them back in the box, and put the box back in the freezer. Did you do that? Why? I don't know. <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. So for background, I am a substitute teacher at an elementary school, and today I was working with third graders, and we were all talking, they all just finished their work, one of the girls comes up to me and she goes, Miss Patterson, did you have breast cancer? And I'm like, no, I haven't, I'm like, why? And she goes, I just wasn't sure because your chest is flat. I am no longer an education major. Put a finger down if from as soon as you were born, your parents would force you to watch porn, specifically a man and a woman. That way, as you grew up, you would think that relationships were supposed to be between men and women. And so every time you saw a couple of the same gender, you would automatically assume that they weren't normal and had some type of mental illness. And so when you grew up and sooner or later made a friend who you got really close with and eventually became best friends with, and she came out to you and told you she was gay, you ended up dropping her. And not only that, but made a fake page and outed her so then the whole school knew, but she still doesn't know that it was you. And so one day when your parents who gave you that mindset died in a car crash, that friend you outed and completely violated offered to let you stay with them and her parents would take custody of you even though you weren't as close as you used to be. And you took up on that offer and started living with her, but she still doesn't know that it was you who outed her until one day you felt too bad, so you decided to tell her. I'm running out of time, so like for part two.